and welcome to So Fresh Sophia. Today I want to share my vegan black bean soup with you. You can whip it up really quickly on those chilly fall days when you just need something warm and comforting. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take one medium onion and then just cut off the ends. And then cut it in half. We're gonna be dicing this. Um, and then cut it four times vertically. Then you're just gonna cut it horizontally, I would say about six times. So once you have your onions and your eyes are totally burning, um, go ahead and set these aside for now. And then you're gonna take your carrots. I have multicolored carrots, yes. Carrots come in purple, yellow, and orange. Just in case you were wondering. And then do the same, just cut off the ends. Cut them in half, lengthwise. And then take your part that's cut in half and cut it in another half. Then cut, I would say about, uh, towards the larger part, do about a centimeter, and then towards the smaller part, do about an inch. Then your celery, just cut the same way as the carrot, cut it in half, one ways, and then chop it downwards, keeping about the same size um, as you go down. Then turn your heat up to about medium. Then add three tablespoons of oil. So now our oil is all heated up and we're gonna add in our veggies. And you're gonna add in two teaspoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of chili powder, tablespoon of cumin. Then go ahead and add some black pepper. Mix your spices with the veggies and let it simmer for about one minute just on the same low heat. And then add in four cups of veggie broth. And then you will need four cans of black beans, but just take two of them and drain them and then stick them in the soup. And once you have your black beans in there, add in two cups of frozen corn and turn your heat on high and bring this to a boil. Rinse and drain your other two cans of black beans and add in your drained black bean tomato sauce. And you're just gonna blend this until it's all smooth. This will give the soup a nice consistency. Add this to our pan. And then just give this a good stir and you're just gonna simmer it for 15 minutes and it is finished, I'm so excited. And as you can see, I have my other soup rolling here, it's still cooking, um, but I would totally recommend implementing making double of things in your cooking life. It will make it so much easier and less work.